Hello, this is a little tutorial on how you can use lessons from the Smart Exchange without ever having to download a file, um, and this should save you some time. So if you go to exchange.smarttech.com, you'll be brought to this home page. If you click on the Search tab here, then it will give you a bunch of search fields. So you can look for a certain topic like letters, and then if you wanted to look for a specific grade or grades, you can check that, or click off of it and then click go. So this will show you all of the available lessons that other people have made and you'll see two options here. One is to download the file which will save it to your computer which requires you to download the file, open the file, and then do a bunch of stuff. But you can also open in Smart Notebook Express without having to download the file. I'm going to go down to this alphabet letters only and when I click open in Smart Notebook Express then it shows me this lesson. I don't have all of the tools that I do within a Smart Notebook, but if you're just looking for a quick lesson for your students, this works out well and you can even edit these different items. So if you wanted to click on them, these are locked, so they're not very much editable, but in a lot of cases they're not locked. Um, but if they are, you can't really do much with them. But if you wanted to give some instructions here, you can click on the letter and click where you want to add your text and say make a new word or whatever you wanted to say and then when you click on the arrow then your students could come in here and move these letters to make some words then if you wanted to use some of these other features like the shade you still can um, but you're limited as to what you can do. You can add new pages and um, do some annotations. But it's a lot easier than downloading the file, editing it, finding where it was, and opening it back up. And I think that could be useful for a lot of people. So hopefully it is for you. If you do want to save your changes um, or reset it again, let's say you wanted to do this lesson over again, you could go to File, Save As, and then that will save it as a notebook file, which would only be open, able to be opened in the Smart Notebook software. Um, or you could just close it um, and then go back and open it again. So hopefully that helps, and thanks for listening.